unbagging my new shipment from Ipsy, and this is the normal February, well, girl. That's my dog. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Carlos here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is literally take number eight. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, so in today's video, we are going to be unbagging, yeah, unbagging, um, um, <laughs> hopefully it's gonna be not take number nine. Anyways, you guys, I'm bagging my new shipment that I received from Ipsy, and this is for the month of February in their Glam Bag Edition shipment, whatever you want to call it. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and have a conversation also about their new, yes, their new Glam Bag, I was about to say Plus X, oh my God. Anyways, you guys, so if you want to know what's in here and what conversation we're going to have and see where this mess takes us. Just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this bag open. But before I do, I really should have said that afterwards. Anyways, you guys, so before I do, you may have noticed my background is slightly different. Um, behind me, there's nothing but boxes. Everything is packed up. Some of you may already know that we actually purchased another home. So we're in the process of relocating. So for the past month, I've been packing stuff literally little by little. So right now, or earlier today, I ended up packing everything in my studio. So I pretty much just kept out the essentials to do my basic video editing until until we um, transition into the other home. So right now I'm in the process of trying to re-record, pre-record videos so I can have them uploaded and scheduled so they can go out on time. It's because I know that when we do move, it's gonna be a little chaotic. Anyways, you guys, I hope you get it. I hope you understand. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm like back in earlier time when I was recording with like a backdrop. So weird, actually. I'm looking in the external monitor and I'm like, oh my God, I have not seen a backdrop in terms of like, you know, like this in a minute because normally I have like the actual studio behind me Why I'm in my studio. Anyways, you guys, let's just get unpacking this. Oh my God, this video is going to be a hot mess. All right, you guys. Why does it smell funny for some odd reason? Never a dull moment. I'm always smelling something. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. If I, oh my God, these scissors have gotten horrible. After like cutting tape, packaging boxes, it's like all this like residue on here. Anyways, you guys. So here's the inside. Wait, what's that? What's this? Oh, okay. It's a brush. Okay, okay. Here's your brush. All right, so I'm not the most like, excited when I get a single brush because I'm like, it's just one brush. What am I going to do with one brush? I got a, I got a, 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 I got an arrange of like different brushes. So I'm like, I just add another brush, brush, brush. Just keep on going, Carlos. Anyways, so this is a blush brush. Say that quite a few times. Blush, brush, bl blush, brush. Anyways, guys, so anyhow, uh, so yeah, I'll end up keeping it. It's what is, ew, what is that? Is that a peel hole? <laughs> yeah. If you guys have no clue what I just said, I said, is that a peel hole? That's is a Spanish term for lice. <laughs> oh my God. I just saw like something like randomly there. I'm like, ew, what is that? Ooh, anyways. All right, does it smell? It does smell, but nothing too bad, like where we smell like other makeup brushes and they usually have like that foul, like chemical smell to it. This doesn't, it's all right. I mean, it's nice. I like the, the dome of it. It is soft, but it isn't the softest that I've used or touched, I should say. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep it now since I put my fingers all on it. Anyways, you guys, so here is, oh my God, that's so cute. Okay. Oh, that's cute too. All right. I just looked in the next term monitor. I was like, what is that? Anyways, let me show you the first side. <laughs> Sealed with a kiss. Isn't that cute? That is super adorable. 
adorable. It's almost like you're getting your own special Valentine card, but in like a cosmetic bag. Anyways, so then here, it actually, I've seen this on like other, um, on Ipsy's um, Instagram page, but I couldn't tell what this was. And now I can, those are actual lips. They don't look like lips, but they do now when you see it in person. Does that make sense? Anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and open it up. There goes, obviously, I like that they do this. They, the little, the luggage, oh, the luggage tag. All right, Carlos. Clearly, I don't know where this video is gonna take us. So let me put this down. It smells like regular vinyl plastic. It is what it is, nothing like major. So what is the theme for this month? Okay, so right here it says they are celebrating or celebrate Black History Month, incredible payoff, innovative formulas, inclusive shades, um, inspiring founders. This is pretty cool. I love this. So on the back, the hashtag for this month is Ipsy Send Love. All right. So here are the products that I should, should be receiving in my shipment. So let me go ahead and put this down and pull um, one thing out of it, one thing out of the time, because <laughs> clearly I cannot talk. All right. So I don't remember if, I think I chose this as my choice. I think I did, I think. Anyways, you guys, so let, let me show you. Oh my God, I'm so rude. I'm telling you, I'm like completely, I feel like out of my element because I have a backdrop. Anyways, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? When you change things up, you're like, my right, my left, my right, my left, you don't know where to go. <sighs> Anyways, you guys, I am so goofy and special. Anyhow, so this is Inns, Innis Free Pore Clearing Clay Mask with super volcanic clusters. So this is a deluxe sample. Again, I believe this is what I had chose. Normally this retails for $15. Again, not this one, but like the full size product. Um, I don't remember why I chose this because I think it's, okay, I think I remember why now because I haven't tried one of these volcanic, volcano, volcanic, whatever you want to call it, like the clays because I always notice that whenever time I use the clay products, I always get like these burn marks on my skin. So I try to stay away from them and I don't know why that is. Um, so let me go ahead and just open this up because I am going to, I am going to use it even though I just say I get burned. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, there isn't no scent. So that's good, actually. So that's the consistency of it. Hmm. I will definitely try this soon because I do need to like clear out my skin. I mean, it's not like nothing major, but I had like a blemish somewhere over here. I'm like, where does this blemish come from? Anyways, you guys. So the next item that I received is, what is this? So this is, um, am I pronouncing this right? Oh, it's not picking up. Hold on, RCL, RCL Beauty. Um, this is a liquid eyeliner coffee cafe. So this is a full size. So this retails for $16. So this isn't like a brown. This, I mean, it is a brown. This isn't like a regular black. So this is actually a brown. That's actually pretty cool. I, most of the eyeliners I get are always black. So I'm glad to actually get a different shade. But it looks... It, I mean, it's brown, but it does look like it's black, but it is brown. Like, does that make sense? I don't know. Let me show you. Do you know what I mean? It's, it looks black. Obviously, it's going to look black, but when it's close up, you actually have like a nice dark mahogany brown color to it. That's actually really nice. And I like the fact that if you look one more time, it did glide on really smoothly and I'm not seeing any bleeding into the crevices of my skin. So that's good. All right. So the next item here, not here, next item that I pulled out of my bag is from Naked Cosmetics. This is a vanilla cream lip scrub. This is a deluxe sample. This normally, not this one, again, the regular full full size, is uh, $11.99. Oh wait, is this? Hmm. Oh, it's sealed, like completely sealed. Shield, 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 shield. I am special oh my god why am i struggling clear guys if you're new to my channel what you see is how i am all the time like my god let me words like sometimes i'll talk to people like through instagram or like facebook 
And I'm like, I stumble on my words. So like, you see, this is how I am all the time. Oh, has a very light, very light scent. So that's actually really good. Ooh, it's creamy. I didn't even show you there. There you go. So it's actually really nice. It feels like, like a nice a bomb. But even though it says a scrub, I'm not feeling it. Oh, now I feel it. You just have to kind of like press your finger in there to get that, um, to get that scrub feeling texture. Hmm. I gotta carry this with me. I like that. I like that. There isn't a lot. Hmm. Now I feel like the oils in there. Okay. Okay. So the next item that we have in here, what is this? So this is uh, this is Glam Glow. Oh look, it matches me. <laughs> Special. Uh, this is Glam Glow Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti Fatigue Anti Fatigue Eye Cream Deluxe Sample. Regular sample. Regular size is normally thirty nine dollars. Ooh, okay. I definitely need to use this because I actually don't have any eye cream, believe it or not. I have. Plenty of face creams, but no eye creams. Now, I know some people, this doesn't have a scent. Oh, it's really good, especially for like skincare. I don't like when skincare products have a lot of fragrances in it. I don't mind a little bit, but too much of it is to me, I don't think it's good because um, you're just, fragrance has alcohol in it, obviously. And for me, my thought is if you're applying alcohol onto your skin, isn't it going to dehydrate your skin a little bit more? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm not. I'm not a scientist. A science. Let me finish. I have no clue what I was about to say. Oh, I like though. This is very light. What's the first ingredient in here? What's the first ingredient? It better be waters. Am I going to be able to see? Oh no, it doesn't tell me. Hmm. I'm, hold on. No, it doesn't. Wait. No, it doesn't. <laughs> All right, you guys. So. What do you think of my bag? Actually, it's okay. I'm not, it, it, it's, it's a different, it, if you think about it, most of it is actually skincare, which is kind of interesting. I think the only makeup product that I got was the um, liquid eyeliner and the brush, even though it technically is not a makeup item, but it is a makeup product. Does that make any sense? So really, I only got like two items and then the other three are skincare related, which is okay. I mean, at least they're small portions, so I don't feel like I have, like, you know, when BoxyCharm gives us, like, all the skincare, and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta use it up. So I'm, like, lathering all over my body so I can use up the product. You know what I mean, right? Anyways, you guys, so let's have a conversation. I'm bringing up my phone because I'm logging into my Ipsy app here. So in terms of the Glam Bag X, I don't know why I said plus earlier special anyways you guys so i am scrolling through here and i'm just going through the pictures in the sense of the items i believe you get to choose from and they look okay i mean the only thing i find that seems to be a little bit different in the sense of comparison to like boxycharm is that i believe this is this glam bag x it is curated, right, by a particular makeup artist or a person. I could be wrong. I do like the um, nail polishes, though. That's really cute. I do like um, about face. I think it's like a lip, like a like a paint on lip stick or like a lip gloss, but it's like a matte. It's not a lap gloss. Oh, wait. Oh my God. I'm like getting stunned or subtle on my was. Anyways, you guys. Anyhow, so yeah, it's a matte lipstick. Okay, and then they have some scrunchies, like really? Anyways, you guys. And they Patrick Tay. Patrick Tay Beauty. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Anyways, I do like the blushes though. The blushes are really pretty though. Um, let's see what else is in here. So they got uh, a serum, a serum, private doctor. I don't know what the serum does. I mean, I guess I can click on it and it gets tell me a little bit more so we got a beauty blender the original sponge queen all right i know those are a little pricey so that actually might be a good thing um anyways so and then i really saw that huda beauty palette i'm like mm, maybe i should just join just for that but i had to make sure this i i had to make sure that if i was going to sign up that i had to sign up before getting this because then if that was the case i wouldn't be getting this i would end up getting the other so I was late in the game getting it. 
So that's the reason why we're unboxing, unbagging my regular glam bag. Anyways, you guys, so if you receive this particular or you're going to be receiving the new Glam Bag X or you already received it, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in terms of the choices that you're able to pick. And once you did receive the products or you're going to be receiving them, what do you guys think about the choices that came in their first Glam Bag X shipment? Did that make sense? I don't know. And since this is something new, I mean, are we comparing it to like a BoxyCharm Lux? I mean, I would say it is because it's it's quarterly, right? So you would think, oh, it's going to be the same concept. But in terms of now knowing what Boxy Lux is and now doing the Glam X from Ipsy, do you think they're comparable? I don't know. This is going to be new to me. So I'm debating if I should really sign up the next time around and get it. Anyways, you guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are about the items that I did receive in my February glam and bag. Overall, I'm actually content with it. I think the bag itself is super cute. Of course, I'm going to add this on, not add this on, add this into my collection. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am a foster parent, so I'm trying to collect a few or collect all of these and I've had some great supporters on my YouTube channel send me some of the um, Ipsy bags that they're not using so that what I'm going to end up doing is that I will fill these up with some hygiene products some makeup products and that uh, when a teen or a youth child comes into foster care that hopefully um, they're able to receive one of these little nice little goodie bags so at least they have something personal for themselves anyways you guys but if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell as well but until then make sure you all brush your teeth wash your culo and subscribe until then i will see you all in my next video bye now